Hey there, working on a 99 Suzuki Intruder 1500. Uh, guy called me up saying that it wouldn't start and been starting fine. Brings it over, check the battery. They just put a fresh battery in there, charged it up really good, did a load test on it, load tested fine. Everything was fine on it. Uh, took it out to charge. Got it hooked up with the jumper cables now. Uh, this is what is this is what it's doing. I know that starter's good, and uh, all the connections are good on the ground and all that. If you listen here. all it's doing fuel pumps coming on so i don't get it's just that it ain't spinning over i noticed that the uh, compression release which is up here on the front cylinder head didn't actually moving it's pulling the cable like it wants to move but the compression release ain't moving so i think the compression release is stuck on it i'm gonna pull this dash off here and pull this air cleaner cover gas tank cover it's not a gas tank cover it's uh it just made to look like a gas tank it's just a cover so i can pull that front cover off the cylinder head up there to access the compression release and pull it out of there and see if it needs to be cleaned i think i think they get carboned up and can't can't move it's right behind this cover right here on the front cylinder head, which is just these two bolts holding it on. It's two, uh, I think they're five millimeter bolts or 10 millimeter head, 10 millimeter, millimeter head, hex head bolts. And that compression release is just right there where my finger is. Right there. And it ain't moving. Let me, let me pull this tank cover off so I can get to it. Compression release ain't working. It evidently the cam timing on this thing strong enough that it just won't spin the motor over without a compression release on it. So let's pull it cover off and see. Covers off there. The air air cleaner faux tank cover, whatever you want to call it's off. These are, uh, I was wrong, they're not 10 millimeter heads, they're 8 millimeter head bolts. I'm just going to take those two off. There's one here and one at the back there. Put this thing down while I'm unscrewing this other one. Alright, there's your compression release right there. You got uh, two cables going in it. One to open it and one to pull it back closed. The adjustment's right on here. It's cool. It's just that the uh, thing ain't actually open. You can't even move it. Both cables are good. At least I think they're good. Usually their cables are fine on these things. Usually they get a little bit out of adjustment, but usually if they're adjusted too tight, it'll actually hold the compression release open, and then you'll have uh, making a put, 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 run like it's running on one cylinder. So, let's take this thing off here and see if we can get it to move any. There. Got my cable on there for the compression release for the rear one. Uh works now <clears throat> had some starter issues I'll go over that in the next video and I had to pull the starter off to bench test it and this front stud broke over here taking it out tried working it out a little bit at the time and it'd move a little bit and then just take it back in it'd move a little bit heated it up Tried getting it out, and it finally just snapped off right right at the damn inside the head there. I'm going to go pick up my 
easy outs now. I done drilled it. Easy outs are at the shop over there. See if we can't get that off. Next video I'll do, uh, I'll go over what I did with the starter there. And uh, fresh battery in there, all that stuff. And then we have to go take this thing and get it inspected after we get it back together so we can pick it up this week. And that one too has got to finish that with a 10K service so we can pick that thing up. Actually, it's not a 10K. It's, he said it was a 10K. It got over there. It's got 29,000 miles on it. So basically a 30,000 mile service. But And that needs inspection too. All right. Let me go pick up my easy outs and see if I can get this stud out of here today. I probably won't be able to get it out, so I might just seal a coil going back together or use a different size. Just tap it, maybe. We'll see. All right, thank you. Again, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell, all that. I uh, do a little bit of everything out here. Uh, bikes tractor stuff gardens power equipment uh little cheapo four wheelers over there they just did a generator a 40 dollar generator that needed a fuel line and a coil and finished it up and it actually uh makes power got to screw around with the governor adjustment on it but it's it's putting out power and it works it's a good deal for 40 bucks Figure I got less than less than sixty in it fixing it, so sixty dollars overall for the generator, forty three hundred watt. But that, that's another video. Let me let me get going. Thank you. Bye bye.